So I fall to my knees and I say that I'm grateful when every morning starts So I don't thank my lucky stars Cause that's not where my blessings are we would ask of those of you who are out in the park and not sitting in your lawn chairs and those of you at home to stand and rise for the respect of the word of the reading of the scripture. This morning the scripture will be coming from 1 Chronicles chapter 4 verses 9 and 10. That's 1 Chronicles chapter 4 verses 9 and 10. And 10 and it reads Jabez was more honorable than his brothers his mother had named him Jabez saying I gave birth to him in pain Jabez cried out to God of Israel oh that you would bless me and enlarge my territory let your hand be with me and keep me from harm so that I will be free from pain and God granted his request the word of God for the people of God. All praises be to God. You all may be seated. Heaven is my goal. Heaven is my goal. Each and every day. Every day. Got to keep on moving. Got to keep on moving. If I stumble while I'm on my way, if I stumble while I'm on my way, step aside, step aside, don't you block my way. Cause I don't want, I don't want nobody stumbling over me, stumbling over me. Heaven is my goal, heaven is my goal. Each and every day, every day, got to keep on moving, got to keep on moving, moving in the right way. If I stumble while I'm on my way, if I stumble while I'm on my way, step aside, step aside, don't you block my way. Cause I don't want, I don't want nobody stumbling over me, stumbling over me. It's hard, it's hard, uh, sometimes to stay. Sometimes to stay on the Lord's side. Oh, I promised the Lord that I'd let Him be my guide. My heart, my heart is fixed. It's fixed. And my mind is made up. I don't want, I don't want nobody. I can't let, I don't want. My mother, I don't want nobody. Can't let my father, I don't want nobody. Can't let my sister, I don't want nobody. Can't let my brother, I don't want nobody. Move out my way, I don't want nobody. Cause when I get there, I don't want nobody. Gonna hug my mama, I don't want nobody. Gonna hug my father, I don't want Said I'm on my way. I don't want nobody. I said I'm on my way. I don't want nobody. Cause I don't want, I don't want nobody. I said it, I don't want, I don't want nobody. Stop me. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Guide me, O thou great Jehovah, pilgrim in this barren land. I am weak, but thou art mighty. Hold me in thy powerful hands. Bread of heaven, feed us today until we want no more. 
God, let the words of my mouth, the meditation of my heart, and the disposition of my attitude be holy and acceptable in thy sight, for you are my rock, my strength, and my only redeemer. Have your way, God, and we'll give your name its due praise. And the people of God, and only the people of God, said, Amen. I had to go in there and get me a magazine so I could swap these bees while I'm preaching, amen? I want you to know this is going to be 15 minutes, and I mean 15 minutes only today. I want to thank our singers. They were up here singing and dodging. Our musicians are playing and dodging. All the rest of our folk are here on audiovisual, trying to get stuff together, but they dodging bees at the same time. Thank you, honey. Thank you. If you can't stand, we ask that you would stand in respect for the word of God. First Chronicles chapter 4, verses 9 and 10, you'll find these simple words. And Jabez was more honorable than all of his brothers. And his mother called him Jabez, that is sorrowful, saying, because I bore him in pain. And Jabez called on the God of Israel, saying, Oh, that thou would bless me indeed and enlarge my borders. And that thy hand would be with me, and thou was keeping me from evil, that it may not grieve me. And God granted him that which he requested. You may be seated for this 15-minute sermon, and I pray that y'all will help me today. I just want to preach from the subject, it happened after prayer. It happened after prayer. Saints in the old church, we used to sing a song that lyrically goes like this. I love the Lord. He heard my cry and pitied every groan. Long as I live and trouble rise, I'll hasten to his throne. Saints, the writer of this song had been through some things where he had gotten to a point where he understood that God is too loving and kind to be biased with his blessings and his mercies. In other words, God can bless anybody. God can heal anybody. God can deliver and change anybody. And I ought to be able to get a couple witnesses out on this parking lot today uh, to who will publicly testify that God has done something for you uh, that you could have never done for yourself. Uh, all saints, the reason God did what he did for you uh, is because you called on him. And that's why some of you uh, have decided, uh, some of us have decided uh, that as long as we live and trouble rise, uh, we'll hasten to uh, his throne. Uh, saints, listen, uh, anytime you talk to God, God will hear you uh, and God will answer your prayer. Uh, and saints, you and I had the admonition and the ammunition that God answers prayer. Uh, any praying folk out here? Uh, Jeremiah 33 and 3 says, uh, God says unto me, uh, I, I call unto me and I will answer uh, and I will show you great and mighty things. Luke 18 and 1 says uh, that men ought to always pray. Saints Matthew 6 and 6 says uh, whenever you get ready to pray uh, go into your prayer closet. Uh, shut everybody and everything else out uh, and talk to God in secret uh, and the father who hears you in secret uh, will bless you in front of everybody. Uh, Philippians 4 and 6 says uh, be anxious for nothing uh, but in everything by prayer and supplication uh, make your request and with thanksgiving uh, make your request known unto God uh, says my mama used to say it this way uh, she said baby Jesus is on the main line uh, and you can call him up and tell him uh, what you want uh, says all of us here today are proof uh, that prayer works uh, am I preaching to anybody today uh, even if we didn't pray uh, how many know somebody prayed for us uh, and all of us ought to be glad that 
somebody prayed. Uh, listen, somebody, uh, some doors would have never opened for us. Uh, there's some mountains that would still be in our way. Uh, there's some valleys you and I and some trouble you and I would have never got out of uh, if God did not answer prayer. How many know that the enemy would have destroyed us uh, a long time ago uh, if it had not been for prayer? Uh, now, saints, most of our prayers uh, surround one or all of these three issues. Uh, we are either praying that God would settle our spirits, uh, that God would give us a peaceful environment, uh, or that God would grant us safety and success. Uh, and that's why Jabez prayed. Uh, his spirit was troubled. Uh, his environment was messed up. Uh, and he yearned for success and safety uh, because even from his mother's womb, uh, he did not have it. Uh, Saints Jabez's very name is proof uh, about how messed up his life was. Uh, his mama named him Jabez uh, because she bore him in pain. Uh, and saints know this. Uh, it's bad when your daddy rejects you. Uh, it, it's bad uh, when your siblings reject you. Uh, but when your mama rejects you, uh, when your mama doesn't think much of you, uh, when your mama dreads the day that you were born, uh, that's a painful experience. Uh, saints, listen. Uh, it's a terrible thing uh, when the woman who birthed you uh, is the one who hurts you. Uh, Jabez's mama called him pain. Uh, oh, saints, uh, the people uh, who can hurt you uh, are not the people who are your enemies. Uh, they're not your haters. Uh, or those who tell you to your face they don't like you uh, but it's the ones who live in your house uh, and the people who have your last name uh, saints can I tell you something uh, don't watch the folk who tell you to your face they don't like you uh, but watch those people uh, who are always hugging you uh, watch those people who are always trying to kiss you uh, watch those people uh, who are always smiling up your in your face uh, because the people uh, who have the potential to hurt you the most uh, are the people who are the closest to you. Uh, Saints Jabez uh, had a painful past, uh, but Jabez shows us here uh, that pain in our present uh, and pain in, uh, pain in our past uh, is a prescription uh, for the pain that's in our present uh, and the pain that will come in our future. Uh, uh, Saints Marvin Sapp said it this way. Uh, he said his past pain uh, made him stronger, wiser, and better. Uh, and Saints, that's why Jabez prayed. Uh, uh, Saints, the text says in verse 10 uh, that Jabez prayed uh, to the God of Israel. Uh, uh, Saints, Jabez didn't uh, just tell his therapist uh, about his pain. Uh, uh, he didn't just tell uh, his wife about his pain. Uh, Jabez didn't just get on Facebook uh, or on Twitter and tweet about his pain. Uh, but Jabez took his pain uh, to somebody who had the power uh, to heal his pain. Uh, and is there anybody besides me and Jabez uh, who's ever gone through a season of pain uh, and you couldn't tell nobody but Jesus. Uh, Saints Jabez had a smile on his face uh, but the truth is he was in pain. Uh, he would go to the grocery store. Uh, he would speak to everybody uh, but he was still in pain. Uh, he would go to the mall. Uh, he was courteous and kind uh, but he was still in pain. Uh, and even when he went to church uh, he would worship like everybody else and serve uh, but he was still in pain uh, but something happened uh, after he prayed uh, and I'm going to give you two quick points and we'll shout our way out of this parking lot uh, but I want you to tell you two quick reasons uh, and two things about J. Bass's prayer and why it worked uh, and the first is uh, uh, first of all pr J. Bass's prayer worked uh, because he prayed to a God who is real yes, see J. Bass's prayer worked but the reason prayer doesn't seem to work for many of us today is because some of us have problems believing God is real. Oh, we practice a superficial religion. And I think about this for a country that prints on its money in God we trust. We don't seem to know much about who God really is. Current surveys indicate that approximately 95% of Americans say they believe in God. But many of their 
lives are lived as if God doesn't even exist. Can I give you some statistics? More than 80% of people seldom or never go to church or even read the Bible. Only 30% of people who say in God we trust view the Bible as the ultimate authority for their lives. Most people that they follow their conscience and do whatever they think is best for them instead of following God's word. Since these statistics indicate uh, that most people today uh, don't believe God is relevant uh, for their lives. Uh, in fact, most people uh, believe in the notion of God, uh, but they don't really believe God is real. Uh, and since although uh, interest in religion is running high because we're going through a pandemic, uh, many of us don't know much about God. Uh, the Gallup poll showed just this week uh, that America uh, is a nation of biblical illiterates. Uh, less than half of adults in America uh, can name the four gospels of the New Testament. Uh, fewer than half of Americans uh, can name five of the Ten Commandments. Uh, it's not surprising we don't live by the commandments. Uh, we don't even know what the commandments are. Uh, and saints, I'm going to move on. Uh, but even the believers today uh, don't seem to believe God is real. Uh, uh, come on, can we be honest out here? Uh, many of us practice uh, a consumer Christianity uh, or a cafeteria religion uh, where we pick and choose the spiritual teachings uh, we want to practice uh, and we reject those uh, that don't appeal to our interests uh, because too many of us, uh, for too many of us, uh, God is not real. Uh, but saints, can I tell you this and move on? Uh, let me give you quick five quick proofs uh, that God is real. Uh, uh, God woke you up this morning. Uh, did y'all hear what I said? Uh, let me say it again. Uh, I'm going to give you proof number two. God is real. Uh, God woke you up this morning. Uh, Y'all missed that. Let me give you point number three uh, that I know God is real. Uh, God woke you up uh, this morning. Uh, Y'all still ain't helping me yet. Uh, I come to tell you I know God is real. Uh, Jeff, because he woke you up uh, this morning. Uh, how many know God is real uh, because he woke you up uh, this morning? Uh, and know this. Uh, uh, God is all not only woke you up this morning. Uh, we know God is real because he answers prayer. Uh, and those of us who practice prayer, uh, we've seen God work. Uh, is there anybody out here who has seen God work uh, and you know God is real? Uh, Saints Jabez believed God was real, uh, so he prayed. Uh, and somebody needs to hear this. Uh, you will find a permanent relief for, you will never find a permanent relief uh, for your pain uh, in a bottle. Uh, you'll never find permanent solution to your pain uh, from a needle or a pipe or a pill. Uh, saints, chemicals may have the power to alleviate your pain, uh, but only God uh, can heal your pain. Uh, oh, but I found out during my seasons of pain uh, that God is real. Uh, how many know God is real? Uh, saints, my mama used to get up early every morning singing a song, uh, and one of her favorite songs went like this. Uh, she said, there are some things uh, I may not know. Uh, there are some places uh, I may not go, uh, but I am sure of this one thing. Yes, God is real, uh, for I can feel him deep within. Uh, then she would say, yes, God is real. Uh, he's real in my soul. Uh, yes, God is real, uh, for he has touched and made me whole. Uh, his love for me uh, is like pure gold. Uh, yes, God is real, uh, because I can feel him in my soul. Uh, Somebody knows the day God is real. Uh, but not only did Jabez pray because he thought that he knew God was real. Uh, uh, here's your last point. Y'all better come on and help me. Uh, Jabez understood God was his source. Uh, uh, saints, I told you before, a resource is nothing uh, but a supply uh, that you can, that can be drawn on by a person. Uh, but God is not a resource. Uh, God is our source. Uh, saints, a source is a person uh, in which everything comes from. Uh, a source uh, is, is a person uh, from which you need, uh, which your needs can be obtained. Uh, a source is a person uh, that you can go through for every one of your answers. Uh, see, saints, anytime you need something, uh, the source, which is God, uh, will speak to the resource uh, and he'll give you everything that you need. Uh, is there anybody besides me uh, who's ever had bad credit in your life uh, and you know you needed a new car, uh, but you went to the 
bank with your simple self and your low credit score and you walked in out and the Lord let you get that loan and you hurried up and signed the loan at 18 or 20 percent interest because you knew the Lord made a way for you oh saints that's my message today whatever you need God's got it do me a favor turn to your neighbor and say neighbor whatever you need God's got it and saints you got to stop worrying yourself sick about what you need stop having panic attacks and anxiety anxiety attacks over what you need because one thousand cattle on one thousand hills belongs to our God whatever you need I come to tell you God's got it Jabez prayed Lord bless me because all of his life he experienced nothing but pain but Jabez now has a source that is real and a source that is reliable so Jabez said Lord bless me indeed ah saints the word indeed in the Hebrew comes from the Hebrew word Barak which means to praise and saints it says that if you pray and put your trust in God he will give you something to shout about and saint God knows that somebody watching today somebody out on this parking lot you've been down a long time somebody's been depressed a long time somebody's been hurt a long time somebody's been crying in the midnight hour for a long time somebody's been in pain and wounded for a long time and God is going to give you something to shout about oh saints I'm on my way to my seat but the Lord somebody Jabez prayed enlarge my territory and give me an increase and he said Lord if you give me an increase I'll give you a greater praise and like somebody listen somebody the God we serve can take the pain of your life and make it work for your good and know this your God is always working for you and working on your behalf I wish I had a witness that God will work for you won't he work for you listen somebody there may be times in your life where you can't feel him but I come to tell you he's still working for you you don't believe me last night when you and I were in a state of unconsciousness that we refer to as sleep not knowing whether we were in this world or the world to come how many know the Lord kept us but early this morning he touched us with a finger of love and started us on a new day's journey tell your neighbor say neighbor last night God was working for you saints he'll work for you how many know that one Friday on a hill far away Jesus went to work for you and me saints you and I were not fit to live we were too afraid to die so Jesus he went to work for us he allowed the enemy to nail his hands and nail his feet to an old rugged cross he allowed the enemy to press a thorn a 72 thorns down on his head he suffered he bled and died he died all day Friday he died all day Saturday but early somebody shout early early on Sunday morning he got up with all power in his hands he defeated death sin in the grave come on won't it work for you I'm going to close this thing but somebody watching somebody listening somebody on the parking lot when you were young somebody told you you are nothing and never going to be nothing somebody had some people in their life who have done nothing but cause you pain somebody heard a mama or daddy told you you ain't going to never make it but I stopped by to tell you God is going to make you become more than your enemies ever thought you would ever be and saints whether you believe it or not God answers prayers listen I don't need anybody to convince me I'm a living witness that God answers prayers 
I'm a witness uh, that he's a burden bearer. Uh, I'm a living testimony uh, that I have no business uh, being where I am. Uh, I have no business uh, having what I have. Uh, like many other young black men my age, uh, I didn't have a father in my home to guide me. Uh, I could have been on drugs. Uh, I could have been in prison. Uh, I could have been dead, uh, sleeping in my grave. Uh, but the Lord, uh, y'all don't hear me. Uh, the Lord kept his hand of mercy on me. Uh, so I'm a living witness uh, that God will keep your heart, uh, your mind, uh, and your emotions uh, during the difficult times in your life. Uh, if you know uh, that prayer works, uh, did you know uh, that God has answered uh, some of your requests uh, after you prayed? Uh, come on, help me close this thing. Uh, ain't it good? Ain't it grand? Ain't it all right? Uh, now give the Lord some praise. The word of God saints goes forth for one major purpose and that is to call sinners to repentance. All of us on this parking lot all of us who are watching this program virtually is indeed a sinner. Some of us are saved sinners which means we run to God with our sins. But some are lost sinners, which means that you've never made not just that emotional, but that intelligent decision. If you've never accepted Jesus as your personal savior, we ask that you would come so we can lead you through a sinner's prayer. All of us who are saved today at some point had to admit and tell God we needed him in our life. We needed Jesus to save us. For those of you who are watching this virtually, you simply need to pray this simple prayer with me. God, I'm a sinner. And I come now to invite Jesus into my life. I confess with my mouth the Lord Jesus. Believe in my heart. God has raised him from the dead. And I declare from this moment on, I am saved. I come to tell you if you prayed that simple prayer lightning's not going to flash and thunder's not going to roll but in heaven the word of God says they're having a party on your behalf remember salvation is not a feeling it is a lifestyle and a belief system anybody besides me ever woke up and didn't feel saved and then you had to remind yourself that Jesus died for you on Calvary. How many know he's bigger than any mistake you can make? He's bigger than any fault or failure you've ever made in your life. Don't let the enemy steal your joy because you're struggling right now. I'm going to tell y'all what I told you last week and I'm going to say it again. Been going through so much, me and my family, I start praying for the Lord. That he would make things easy in our life. And the Lord spoke to me and said these words. And he said them through a person who didn't even know me. That any time you pray for ease. That that's a prayer of weakness. Because God forges you and makes you the tool he wants you to be. Through the trial and tribulations of your life. Anybody besides me know I'm going to be a mighty mighty too for God all I've been through but think about it God knew you can handle it don't let the enemy I don't know about you but I've asked God sometimes I said Lord you promised you'd never put more on me than I can bear and there's been some days where I had to ask God that but how many know God knows best in our lives there's some stuff we didn't know we could handle until the Lord took us through. I'm so glad to see Rose and her husband here today. Her baby was in the hospital. They were running tests on her. They had one more medication they had to try. One more. They had tried everything else. And the medication worked. Thank God good. Amen. 
That's not just their baby. That's our baby. That's the church baby. And we thank God for her. It's good to have praying parents. Amen. It's good to have praying parents. Before I leave, y'all fuss at me. Am I saying everything that I need to be saying right now? Have I given all the announcements? Listen, we... Oh, senior saints. Thank you, babe. That was Coeen. For those senior saints who were not here last week to get your bags and your gifts, we still have them. We want you to pick them up. And so we still have them. We want you to get them. We want to bless you. We thank God for you and your life and your witness in this church. So we thank God for that. Now for you Bingo fans, let me say this. God is still in the miracle working business. Y'all won a game last week. My phone ringing off the hook. I don't know why y'all have to be like that. I pray for y'all every Sunday. Pray for y'all all during the week. What I loved about last week, I don't know if you guys got a chance to watch it. But my daughter, Erica Thomas, her little son, King, was at the game. And as Burrow was leaving the field, he had a towel and he wiped his face with it. And he gave it to him. You, you need to go online and see that. You, you, that. His face just lit up. And I'm so glad he ain't here today because he had that towel trying to rub it up in my face. And, and I'm allergic to Bengal stuff. I'm telling y'all that right now. I, I love you, girl, but I'm allergic to Bengal stuff. I'm just telling you. Mrs. Car guy with all that stuff on. If nobody else tells you they love you this week, let Alphonse Allen tell you. Your friend said, and Alphonse Allen, we love you. But remember, the God you serve loves you the best. If you can't stand, I ask that you would stand and receive this benediction on your life. The Lord bless you and the Lord keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord turn his face towards you and give you peace now and forevermore. And let the people of God say, let it be so. Oh,